Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. It's time for another Handgun Showdown. This time it is Sig Sauer versus Smith & Wesson. We're going to get a bunch out here and you guys are going to decide which company makes better handguns. But before we do that, we have to revisit our last Handgun Showdown and it was Revolvers versus 1911s. And I thought it would actually be a little bit closer, but by and large, by a decent margin, more people chose revolvers they just love their revolvers they say you know I, I love the 1911 you know i had one once or whatever the case i love revolvers so revolvers won that one but we've got a good one today with sig versus smith so let's get after that handgun showdown let's start with sig sour and we'll begin right here with the sig sour p226 what a beautiful piece of art this is now this is the Talo model it Carried 15 rounds there are aftermarket companies like Metgar that makes higher capacity magazines. But uh, an amazing short reset trigger on this model. Check this out. Just a, an amazing handgun. It's got a 4.4 inch barrel, Sig Light night sights, a great trigger, beautiful wood grips. And I think it looks and performs beautiful. And I love owning that gun. But over here we've got the new Sig X Compact. A lot of people went nuts over this gun in the beginning of 2019. SIG made it optic ready. It's got a 3.6 inch barrel, a 5 pound flat trigger, 15 round mags by the way, a 5 pound flat face trigger that breaks really softly. I mean it's a, it's a sweet shooter with a, a rail, it's got x-ray 3 dot sights, you know it's just an all around good carry gun and many people are enjoying that over here we've got the sig p220 i've owned this for quite a while this one's in 45 acp carries eight rounds in the magazine 3.9 inch barrel sig light night sights that have held up for many years by the way I, I purchased this in 2012 and still love it to this day it does have a rail and once again a phenomenal single action trigger they don't make this model anymore, but they have other P220 models that are equally as nice. I really have enjoyed this, or owning this gun for many years as well. Now, let's see how these match up with Smith & Wesson. Here's Smith & Wesson, and let's start with the very famous Shield. Small, lightweight 9mm, also comes in 40. People love this gun, very famous CCW gun. It's often compared with other guns in the same class. Everybody wants to know how the new gun compares with the Shield because they, they really enjoy it and they trust it. Now, it's often considered a single stack, but it's actually a staggered stack. This is a 7-round mag. It also comes with an 8-round mag. It has a hinged trigger and it's it's a nice shooter it's very accurate it's reliable and has earned a very positive reputation over the years and smith has actually increased the line to the 2.0 models and actually with four inch barrels and and so forth it goes to show how popular it is now here we've got the m p 2.0 compact they have many different sizes in this this is the compact with the four inch barrel has 15 rounds in the magazine and also a hinged trigger this is a duty gun, often compared to a Glock 19. It, it runs very reliable. It has heavier stippling, palm swells there, three dot sights. It's become ordinary. And the reason I think is because it's ordinarily a fine gun that people love to shoot. And it's dropped in price also throughout the years. And many people, they carry that one too. But I think this is where Smith is going to shine, and that's with revolvers. This one that I'm featuring now is, is a big tank. It's a 610, which is in 10 millimeter, and an end frame, which is a big, solid shooter. But Smith has so many revolvers, everything from pocket carry handguns to big things like this that, that people love, and, and they, they do trust them. Over the years, Smith has gained an excellent reputation with the revolvers this one here 10 millimeter with a four inch barrel completely quality made that shooters have come to love over the years so there it is six hour handguns versus smith and wesson handguns let me know which company you feel makes the best handguns 
and then I will report the results back with the next handgun showdown. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.